Now, distance is a relatively simple calculation. There's nothing too complicated at all. It's just how you read and comprehend the question. Now, our question here states, calculate the straight line distance in meters from A to B. Now, straight away, we can see that they want the answer in meters. So what does that mean? First, we identify what type of map it is. And from here, we can see it is a topographic map. So we multiply by 500. So in the diagram, we can see there are two points, A and B, and there's a line, right, joining the two. Now, in your map, on your autophoto map or your topographic map, you will know what type of item they're asking you to measure. It could be a runway. It could be a national road. Here, we just have two normal points, right? So for your steps, in order to calculate your straight line distance, your first step would be to measure the map distance in centimeters. So I went through and did that, and I got 4.8 centimeters, right? Next, we would have to multiply by the according scale, whether it is 0 0.5 or 0 0.1. And then we would have to, have to convert to kilometers or meters using the conversion table. The formula for distance would be your distance on your map. So let's put dm multiplied by your map scale. So obviously, since this is a topographic map, it would be 1 is to 50,000. However, they want the answer in meters, right? Read the question very carefully. So our step one would be to measure this line. And this line measured in at 4.8 centimeters. So step two would then be to take all of this information and place it into this formula here, right? So that would be 4.8 centimeters times your map scale. Now we want the answer in meters. Therefore, we have to multiply this by 500. Remember, topographic map meters will be by 500. So then we, for step three, we will have to write the answer with the correct unit. Remember, you have to include the unit. So this will give us 2,400 meters. Always remember to add the unit. Now, I want to show you guys, using the exact same example, how we would go about doing it if they asked for the answer in kilometers instead of this uh, meters right here, right? So if they wanted the answer in kilometers, it will be the exact same way that you calculate it. However, you just change the scale, right? So already we know the measurement would be 4.8 centimeters. But instead of multiplying it by 500, we multiplied by 0 0.5 since we want the answer in kilometers. Now this will indeed give us 2.4. And what did I say? Put the unit of measurement and it will be kilometers. Now that is the exact same way you do it for kilometers as compared to the previous example, which was done for meters. As you can see, it is pretty easy. There's no way that anyone should be getting this incorrect.